Good evening and welcome to Whoops in the Dungeon. Uh, tonight we're going to revisit a topic that we've talked about in the past and I'm going to call this one Rhythm Whips. And what do I mean by Rhythm Whips? Well, any class of whip, regardless of whether it's a flogger, a quirt, cat of nine, dragon tail, or a bull whip, I'm going to throw bull whips tonight. When you're playing with someone and there's music in the dungeon or music at the, at the event that you're playing at, it's good to connect the rhythm of the music to the rhythm of the whip that you're throwing and connect that energy between you and the person you're playing with and connect that to the environment that surrounds you and that environment is most easily represented by the rhythm of the music uh, that you're listening to or that you're playing to. So I'm just going to use a practice t-shirt tonight, hanging on, free hanging on a, a wire coat hanger. I'm going to play a little bit of music and let you see what uh, single-handed uh, rhythm whips would look like and then compare that with two-handed rhythm whips. I'll be throwing uh, Three four foot bull whips tonight, uh, all three made by Peter Jack. Uh, first, we'll throw a four foot single handed, and then I'll throw a match set of four foot bull whips. And as always, thanks for watching Whips in the Dungeon. I hope you enjoy this and can learn something from it. But let's just give, without further ado, let's throw whips up for a few minutes. So I'm just going to try to match the heavy beat of the music. You might find swaying to the music. It's an easy way. Get in rhythm with it. As always, thanks for watching Whoops in the Dungeon.